the Daytona 500 on Fox. Well, this begins, this chase for the championship. It begins today. And sold out Daytona Day. It'll be 43. Three drivers are in their first Daytona 500, but have yet to win the Daytona 500. We're glad you're watching NASCAR on Fox. Let's take you back down trackside. And now that... Speaking a little quick right now, Mike. It's that time of year, Daryl. It's the Daytona 500. So much history here. It's Fox NASCAR welcomes you to the 58th annual running of the great American race, the Daytona 500. Is brought to you by Goodyear. One position. Matt Yoakum. After reflecting on his championship season, Kyle Busch, like any true racer, reassessed his goals. What's missing the court weather could play into his favor. It's hot and slick. It could be an epic day for KB. Vince. Brian Vickers wasn't expecting to be in this race, but he got the call to fill in for Tony Stewart, which is an interesting twist because Vickers himself, Stewart's team, but this is a very special day. Glenn's had a couple challenging years. He hasn't seen victory lane since Michigan 2013, but lots of changes at Roush Fenway Racing over the offseason. This is his best chance in recent years. Larry McReynolds? Yeah, let's take a look at the race analysis. We're going to go for themselves to the starting line. 40 of America's best drivers in the big... Racing boys! Car owner Rick Hendrick looking on at his rookie pole. Have a handful that will roll the dice and just go with two. You need at least one full can of fuel. Well, all week long, all we've been seeing is people do gas and goes. Two Daytona 500 on Fox is sponsored by. A few laps ago, I've got a real vibration. His crew chief, Brian Petty. The Daytona 500 on Fox is sponsored by. sprayed some soft drink on the pavement to give it a stickier feel and more grip and then they worked it in we'll see if junior oh that's a fuel every race is a fuel mileage race. from the drop of the green flag amen there you see two tires both trips to pit road daytona day and stay tuned for a lot more the daytona 500 on fox is sponsored by cialis Getting ready to go back to green. First, let's have and Matt De Benedetto crashed along well, great strategy for now. We'll see how it plays out. Well, we saw them play some real fuel mileage strategy yeah. in the unlimited. Oh yeah. And uh, what do we call them? Wheels? Yeah, the we Mike Wheeler. Mike Wheeler. Wheeler. To celebrate. Race left. That's your mid-race report here on Fox. We are aware if we pit now, we can make it on one more stop. Air stop. 81 laps to go. One thing's for sure, a lot of decision making by these crew chiefs. They're talking to not only have their car in great position, but also have a car that can maybe make some of those big aggressive moves with yeah. fresher tires. On Fox. Boy, they're enjoying Daytona Day. A lot of good uh, viewing places. The greatest drivers, I mean, we've seen some of our best drivers have trouble off of that turn today, so uh, not enough grip, apparently. Definitely not. Oh. Chris Neville is with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yeah, and Dale Jr. Airframe damage <laughs> to the number 80. And Matt Kenneth trying for his third 500. This is going to be your first chance for a 500. If you can pull it off, are you guys going to stick with the Gibbs flying formation on the restart, helping each other move in? Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, the number one goal is for the 20 car to win the race today, and the number two goal is for a JGR car to win the race, or an affiliate like the 78. So uh, it's been working great today. Those guys have been working together uh, really well all day, and um, I think that ho hopefully everyone's telling the truth here and they're not, not you know, playing something we're not aware of, but I think it's going to work out good for us here at the end. Vince, with Cole Pern, how comfortable are you with the position you currently have and all those teammates are with you? Yeah, it's been working good all day. I mean, uh, you know, we had a good plan coming in, and it's just uh, we had good speed in all our cars, so it's enabled us to stay up there. So hopefully we can uh, all get back in a line here and, and get down the end and make sure we make it all the way back to checkered, and we'll call it a good day. This Our five-hour energy, big move of the race. 
is the big run that Denny Hamlin gets. Going the other was the closest finish in history. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, oh, Denny Hamlin. What a day it's been from the very get-go. This has just been one of those fun days, man. Hamlin Jeff. was runner-up for J.D. Gibbs as well. Vince? So <laughs> The confetti. A 500 win. He won the first race he ever entered as a kid at a go-kart at age 7 and now at age 35. His first Daytona 500. Let's head upstairs for some final thoughts. Kenseth ended up 14th after leading at the white flag and getting shuffling back in that order. Yeah, Jimmy Johnson there in 16th. Ryan Blaney, likely rookie of the race. And Brian Vickers, I mean, he was up there in the hunt till the very end. Chase Elliott, youngest pole sitter ever for the 500. They got that car back on track, but it was all torn up at lap number 20. Chris? Thanks, Mike. And guys, and Kyle Busch, of course. Finishes fifth. You know, they talk at Daytona about how aero is so important, and yet the front of your car, how in the world did you finish fifth with that? Let's look at what Denny did at the end. Was there anything Truex, Kyle Busch, Harvick, even Matt Kenseth could have done differently? Harvick had a big decision to make. Did he try to force the issue and get beside Denny or just push Denny? It wouldn't have worked out for any of them if he had tried to pass Denny. He decided things. When he's hurt, he comes back, and he came back with vengeance here in Daytona. And I'm just so thankful for Toyo. If one of the founding partners of the new grandstands been in the sport forever and getting that win, J.D. Gibbs there yeah. giving Denny a hug. That's uh, got to feel good, too. He's the chairman, and it's J.D. Gibbs' birthday, so happy birthday to him. Of course, Joe Gibbs, who talked about such an important victory winning the championship with Kyle Busch, and now he gets a Daytona 500 title with Denny Hamlin. Tonight on Fox, the Simpsons, Bob's Burger. Good early, come out for some great tickets and some great speeds, and that's a big change. Later, another photo finish, just like the first ever Daytona 500. I know that uh, Denny Hamlin, Brad Keselowski said it'll be more in the hands of the driver next Sunday when we race in Atlanta. Today, after a few weeks here in Daytona, finally gets that Daytona 500 title. Congratulations to him. Thanks for being a part of it with us. NASCAR on Fox. I'm gonna need someone to hold me down. I'm gonna need someone to help. Let's go. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or you could thank all of our fans for your support, and we hope you enjoy today's broadcast.